Hello everybody, Ricardo Yigas here um, with this GMAT quant problem, uh, which is one of the problems I have from my percent ratios and proportions lesson for the GMAT. So um, I wanted to go ahead and dive into this question and show you how I will solve it and, um, and, and teach you how, to, how you can do it as well within a minute or less, okay? So without further ado, the question is asking us, how many additional votes will Nina, will Nina have needed in order to win the election? And the question states that in order to win, I can need to receive more than 50% of the votes. So how can we interpret that properly? So I'm gonna write here, in order to win, a candidate needs 50% of the 4,000, and over time, you'll just learn to do this in your head, so you won't have to write it, but I'm doing it to simplify it. So half of 40 is going to be 4,000. It's going to be 2,000. Um, and in order to make it more than 50%, we can just simply add one. So that will be a candidate needs 2,001 votes in order to win. Okay, so how many has Nina received? And then if we calculate the difference, then we'll be able to know how many she will have needed uh, in order to win. So she has one so far, uh, 0 0.25 percent of the 4,000. Okay, so here we can simplify two zeros, and we're left with 0.25, which can be um, converted into a fraction as one fourth uh, times 40. So 40 is 4 times 10, so we can simplify 4, and we're left with just 10. And what we can do is we can subtract the difference. So she won 10, she needed 2,001 in order to win, and the difference is going to be 1991. So that is our answer in letter D. Thank you very much.